Welcome, amigos, to the new School of Motion Graphics. We're rebranding our channel to bring you the best tutorials in After Effects so you can become a ninja in motion graphics. This is CM de la Vega. In part one, we went step by step on creating this pretty cool look, graffiti street art look for your videos and your pictures. And in part two, which is this tutorial, we're gonna be adding a camera, breaking the 2D plane, and entering the world of 3D. This is what we're gonna be creating. It's pretty simple. It's actually not that hard. So let's get started. Let's create a new composition, and let's call it Juanes. It's because this artist is Juanes, Colombian artist. Let's make it 1920 by 1080, 29.97, and we can make it 20 seconds. Now this is the video that we're gonna be using. And amigos, this is very important. You have to make a mental note more than a mental note, it's it's good if you had a marker and know exactly where you want the video to freeze and where you want the animation, the street art to begin. So this is the point where we're gonna freeze the video and we're gonna break the 2D plane and go into 3D. So let's I'm gonna copy this actually and I'm gonna paste it into this comp. If you have your video, you can just simply drag and drop. And let's go to okay, we're at the point where we're gonna freeze the video, and this is exactly where the street art it's gonna, the street art is gonna start animating. So let's split this layer into two, hit Control Shift D, and it splits it into two. The top layer, we're gonna right click, go to time and freeze frame. And this, what happens is, okay, let's play it back, and it freezes. Let's extend this layer all the way, and let's make it, let's actually rename it, let's call it Video Freeze, so we know it's a, the video is frozen, and let's make it a 3D layer by activating the 3D switch. Now let's go back to our street art, and this is the street art. We went over step by step on creating this look in part one. If you guys missed it, click on the link below to check it out. Now one thing to notice is if we open the composition settings, this is actually bigger than HD, and the reason I made it bigger is because I wanted to show more of the splashes around it. So you guys are feel free. You can keep it 1920 by 1080, make it easier for you, but you can also make it bigger. There's nothing is set, nothing is set in stone. So let's go back to our Juanes comp. Let's bring in our street art composition and let's drag it in. Let's line it up. And let's make it a 3D layer by activating the 3D switch. And let's just eyeball it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Let's just kind of place it. This looks good. Okay, perfect. Now, if we scrub through, nothing happens. It's still 2D. And the reason is because we haven't added a camera. So let's add a camera. Go to layer new camera. Let's make it 50 millimeter. Hit OK. And let's add a new null object. And the reason we're creating a new null object is, is because... we will be controlling the rotation of the camera through this null object. We have to make it a 3D layer, activate the 3D switch, and let's parent the camera to the rotate. I'm gonna make this a red color. And let's, let's start these layers at 419. This is where we freeze, 419. Let's add a marker. Okay, still nothing happens, and that's because we need to do a couple things. First, the video, we wanna fade out the video. So let's hit T for opacity, click on the stopwatch. Let's go forward about two seconds to 619. And let's go all the way down to zero. So the video freezes and it fades out. And the animation of the street art starts to animate in and we want to add a background. So let's go to our grunge layer. Let's add this, this background, this nice, this nice wall grungy texture. So let's drag and drop. Let's go to 419, let's start it right here. Let's make it a 3D layer by activating the 3D switch. And let's switch our camera view to, to the top. Let's, let me zoom out so you can see. Now our street art, let me change the color to yellow. Our street art is right here. We're looking at it from the top view, top down. Now our background, our background layer, we're gonna push it back in Z depth. And if we hit P for position, we can see right here, 
we can move it all the way back so you can place it any you can place it anywhere you want let's just make it 500 in this this example let's switch our camera back to active camera and hit s for scale let's scale it up a little bit and let's tile it go to effect stylize motion tile let's make the output width about 400 pixels and the output height let's make it about 200 pixels so make sure that you have enough enough real estate to cover to cover your whole animation so let's animate this this composition hit r for rotation let's put keyframes let's line it up to 419 let's go about let's go all the way to 16 and let's just play around with it there's no wrong or right answers this is however you guys want to do it and let's animate the camera let's go back to 419 hit p and then shift a to open up the point of interest and the position let's go to 16 using the letter c on your keyboard you can cycle through the different camera controls and we're going to position this down and let's see if we can dolly a little bit back and if we scrub nice it's looking pretty good now we can add a couple things to enhance this one thing is we can add a light go to new light let's call it point light point light and make sure it's a point light and the intensity is 100 hit OK and we can move it if we switch our views to four views left let's make this black let's zoom in we can move our light and we can use our different views to move the light we can add a shadow as well so let's activate the shadow hit AA to bring up the light material options the light options and where it says cast shadow let's turn it on we need to activate the shadows for our street art layer so let's go and hit AA go to cast shadow let's turn it on it turns it on but it's way too dark so let's go back to the light AA and let's bring it down to about 35 maybe maybe 40 and we can soften it up a little bit we can add text let's create text in this example, let's create a new composition. Let's call it text. Click on the text tool and let's type in Juanes. And let's add a little animation to reveal the text. We're going to be using Video Copilot. From the right gear connection, we're going to be using this little reveal clip. Let me solo it so you can see. This is what it is. So we're going to use the track map function to reveal the text. So all you got to do is, if you can't see your track mat, it's because this is turned off. So turn on this little icon and go to your track mat, go to Luma mat. And if you play it back, it reveals it. But if you keep playing, it goes away. And that's because our clip is, is our clip ends right here. We need to extend our clip. And an easy way to extend our clip is to right click, go to time, enable time remapping, and just simply extend it. That's all you got to do. Pretty simple and it stays. Let's bring in that text composition into our main comp. Let's make it a 3D layer by activating the 3D switch. Now, if we go to our top view, you can see right here, this is our street art layer, our background layer is right here, and we wanna put the text somewhere between. So let's just drag it and put it here. Switch back to your active camera, and carefully, carefully, let's just place it in the right spot. And that's pretty much it, amigos. Oops, there's one little thing that I caught that we need to fix. Two things. One, the text, we need to move it. We need to move the text so it'll animate around here. And the last thing is, let's solo the video, freeze, and then the video. Let's solo it. And let's play it back. The light affects any layer that is 3D. So right now the video freeze is a 3D layer and the way we can make it not be affected by the light and what we need to do is go back to the material options AA and where it says accept lights let's turn it off 
So now if we scrub back, it's not being affected. And obviously, remember that we faded it out. We did opacity all the way from 100 to 0. And that's it. Let's turn everything back on. Let's check it out. Let's do a RAM preview. That's it, amigos. Pretty simple. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This is part two of Street Art. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe to the channel. And amigos, always stay creative. Let it flow like agua from an agua.